All right, what's up, guys? So here's the situation. So uh, the, that whole mining session that was in my previous video, yeah, that took so long. Um, I had finals and you know all that stuff. So hopefully, I'll be able to get back to a better schedule of you know maybe more than one, you know maybe you know two or three videos a week. But it all depends. So. Um, Got a little bit of an update for you guys as you can see we are a long way away from home I did some traveling in the nether I just basically started digging for a while and yeah I am we, we are pretty far away we actually found a mesa and if you look over there ice spikes so, I'm not going to go over there just yet, because I don't have Silk Touch, so I don't actually be able to get anything. So, but I was kind of walking around a little bit, and I did do a little off-camera exploring. I am sorry, but it's a big area, so we still have plenty of, plenty of uh, stuff, I guess you could say. Opportunities. Yeah, there we go. That's a better word. Plenty of opportunities for more uh, exploring. So another thing I decided to do is I decided to make these kind of like huts for all of our nether portals. That makes it a little bit easier to find. And I haven't put the roof on this yet. That's that's why I have the wood. So if you look down there you see a rail. Now that rail leads into that mountain. Now, I saw over here, I was walking around trying to see, you know, get the good vantage points and see what I can see, and I looked down there, and I saw more minecart rail. So I went down and I explored it. Like I said, I explored it a little bit. I didn't go too deep. Um, but we did get a pretty good, we got a diamond in there, we got three stacks of rails. So, I mean, we got a protection three book, which is pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I've got protection four. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it was a couple chests in there that I found. A lot of mobs. There was a witch, I heard her laughing at me. So, you know, like I said, we still have plenty more to get back in there. But what I want to do right this minute is I want to put the roof on this bad boy. Now I have a... It's going to be just a basic... Actually, let me clear some room here. There we go. Um, let's do 12. Yeah, of course. Um, do I wanna? Yeah. Max. I wanna have a little bit of an overhang here. That's not what I wanted to do. So maybe we need to take a step back. I 
don't know how. I gotta watch. Obviously, I do a lot of YouTubing. And I always notice that for some reason, like, I don't know how they do it, but they'll, like, walk off the ledge as they're placing blocks. And I'm just so afraid to do that. Actually, we need that. I didn't really give you sticks. trying to do here. I know what I'll do.
what do we do about that? How about... fond of the cobble. I just brought cobble because I have a lot of it. Um, let's make this a little bigger. figure what I can do here. I could bring this out a little bit.
so I can pick up all this uh, wonderful clay. There's a forest right here. Excuse me. There's also a ton of wood that mine shaft. I didn't find a library or anything like that, but like I said, I did not explore everything. Uh, 29 should be enough. That's what? That's two, almost two stacks of wood. Gates are opposite, right? Yeah. Maybe two of them. This is why I need silver touch. There. All right. So, um, I'm gonna head back to the base and unload, and I'm also going to get something to replace this with. So, what don't we need to carry with us? We want the rails, obviously the gold, the clay, um, keep the charcoal here. Okay. Actually, what I want to do Ever need to smelt anything? We can. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't need the cobble. Mm, I don't need the rotten flesh or the dark oak. Okay. Um, it is a very long trip back. So I will. Uh, I'll head back there, and I will see you guys there. 
Alright guys, we are back at the base. So, um, it's night apparently, so let's sleep. So, you guys remember how I was saying that I may need to expand the storage system? Well, I do. So, I started on it. I don't want to give away what's behind me. So, I started working on it. Uh, I haven't really done any of the redstone. Um, I got the torches because I had a, an abundance of torches. But I didn't have any of the repeaters or any of the comparators or uh, anything like that. Um, I did the line of hoppers. And what I actually had to do was the way it's going to work is it's going to come down from around on the other side it's going to come down here it's going to come down it's going to drop down I tried to figure out ways to get it to not have to drop but in order to keep this solid the way it is without having any uh, hoppers or anything showing that's what I ended up doing and then it comes into this hopper elevator which is only two and then it comes back around here and then all the way around and for some reason I missed a hopper here it's gonna come all the way around as you can see I'm not done I still had a lot of hoppers to make but it's gonna come all the way around it's gonna come around here and it's gonna hook into here and this is the system that's got like the diamonds and stuff in it so I haven't really decided if I'm going to do this side yet what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear behind it I'm going to leave this wall here for now but I'm going to clear behind it and get everything set as if I want it to because the hopper line is going to be back there and I moved, made it to where it's over far enough to where if I did decide to place a system on this side then I would be able to so yeah uh, another thing I made the bedroom uh, there was a lot of wall right here that was just bare so I made this nothing fancy but I like it. Two chests. I doubt I'm really going to put anything in here. Maybe armor sets or something like that. But I might get like armor stands and set them right here. I don't even know how to create them. So I'd have to look that up. But this is actually in between both of the storage systems. That's why it dips down right here. Because right above this is the blocks that all the repeaters and everything are sitting on. So I didn't want to destroy that. So yeah. So we got a ton of iron here. So we should be good with hoppers. Uh, was it five? I don't know. We might have to find. We might have to do some more digging. But we still got a good amount of diamonds here. I'm gonna put that in there. And as of right now, I think the storage system is inoperative, so I'm not actually using it. So as of right now, I'm just kind of manually sticking stuff in there. Uh, most of the stuff is just still sitting up here, as you can see. I actually made another chest. So, but I'm going to uh, drop off the stuff. Oh yeah, I uh, <laughs> I raided two temp two desert temples. There was really nothing in them. Uh, the only thing I really got out of it was the uh, the sandstone. I got some smooth sandstone and chiseled some steps, and then and another one of these I have. Yeah, here's two of the, the two blue hardened clay. And then there's the orange. So. <clears throat> but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to expand. Because we found the mesa. And we're going to be getting different clays. Uh, we're going to make a section for clay. And I also decided. Because the way I had it done. Um, in the Windows 10. I had these all renamed. So I could put dirt into the system. 
Uh, I did not do that. Because there's a bug that you cannot rename stacks of items. So I'm hoping they fix that with 112. That'll probably be out before I release this video, depending on how much I want to get done. So if that is fixed, then I will go back to doing that. If it's not, what I think I'm going to do is... Let me uh, get over to the other side here real quick. I think I made a... Yeah. Right here. You see I have netherrack. I have a ton of netherrack just because of how far I had to dig. And I actually... I let probably a good double chest worth despawn just because I was filled up. I mean, the one the one pathway that we that I made to get to the Mesa, um, it was a thousand blocks in the nether. <laughs> so we had to go one way and then I got tired of going in one direction so I decided to switch directions for a couple hundred blocks. So there was all of that and it's three wide too high. So yeah. And we also have very little stone and no stone bricks because I made a ton, a ton of these slabs because that's what's lying in the floor over there. So oh, here's my glass. I was wondering where that was. Let's take that back. Let me go back. So yeah. So what I want to do, and I also this was sand. I took this away. So what I think I want to do is I want to replace that sand or this glass with something else. I haven't decided what yet. Something I get a good amount of. But anyway, uh, and I'm gonna make glass and sand just because. And there is 24, 25, 27 spots here, which is like 300 chests. Now that's not including the chest I need for the hoppers. Or I need, what is it, five? One, two, there's four here. Six. I need six hoppers per row. So they each need a chest. So uh, let me uh, pull out the trusty phone here. We'll do some math. How many chests did I say? 27. So that's 162 hoppers. So <laughs> I need like 500 chests. Which is uh, just under eight stacks. <laughs> so yeah, and then I need to make trip wires for trap chests. So only half of them are going to be trap chests. Now, as you see, I was able to get started. I did have a couple chests already from when I made the last system left over. So yeah. So I think this will probably be, be enough. I don't know how many colors of clay there are. I haven't really gone and taken a look and checked how many different colors of clay there are. I don't think there's that many. So this will give us a little bit more room for st other stuff, you know, uh, arrows and uh, what else, you know, we could put gunpowder and, uh, you know, other, you know, simple stuff. Um, Actually, what I might end up doing is I might end up extending this out a little bit that way, or adding actual systems back here for a couple other things, like maybe rails and gunpowder and stuff, you know? So, um, so we went on a mission and we uh, uh, killed a ton of chickens uh, where are the feathers at uh, as you can see I've I have an abundance let's see what I have one two three four five five stacks and then like six six and a half we'll say and then where did I put them I don't remember I don't remember where I but I ended up with like uh, Yeah, I don't think I put them in there. I ended up with like, ooh, I think I put them out here. With like two stacks of feathers. <laughs> so, 
Or, yeah. No. Um, I thought I put them out here. Huh. I hope I didn't leave them somewhere. Unless I'm just completely blind and missing them. As you can see, we still have some items to move into the system. There are... Uh, we've been breeding our sheep here. Um, kind of low on pigs, though. Got a lot of chickens, and this is actually quite full of chickens. Like I said, I think I ended up with like almost two stacks of feathers. So, our plants are almost full. I just did this before I started recording, too, actually. So... We got a pretty savvy system there, and then uh, we want to start getting our llamas and our horses. So we have one there, uh, right on the other side of this mountain, actually, there is a bunch of uh, llamas and horses, so we don't have to worry about going too far for that. Probably uh, gonna end up... Um, I don't have the levels. I made another... I had an Efficiency 4 book. So I made another efficiency 4 axe, just because I want efficiency 5, but I don't have the levels, because I think it's like 30-some uh, levels, so let me check. 25, yeah. So. I also want to try to get fortune. Um, oh, there they are. There are my feathers. <laughs> so, yeah. Almost two stacks. So, let's dump this in here for now. Uh, see, there's coarse dirt, too. I got gold ore, golden apples. I mean, we, we picked up, you know, all kinds of stuff. I don't think I've actually repaired this yet. Yeah. So. Um, I think this is going to be ridiculous. Actually, it's not. It's only seven. That's not bad. Yeah, that one's the one I've been using. <laughs> Will it repair it when I... Nope. <laughs> uh, so I need a ton of levels. I need to find a spawner. So I can do a XP grinder. I have found Frostwalker too. I thought that goes on swords. Oh, I might have to do that in an anvil. Let me. That's why, because I was trying it at the enchanting station. So maybe... Yeah, why? I, that's supposed to be on a sword, right? Uh, interesting. Anyway. So... We are going to head back. i got to find something to replace. Um, I don't have any... Let me... What should we do? Um, what do we use for the floor? Oak? Ah. Yeah, we used oak for the flooring. Um, should we go with... I kind of like... Let's... Yeah, I kind of like this. Ah! That's not what I wanted to do. But we don't have any, so what we need to do is make a I think a stack will do so let's make and what we're going to do is we're actually going to smelt this by hand uh, really there's no coal in there let's see if I can see the hopper do I have any coal? I have one piece of coal 
Coal. Alright, so I'm going to uh, smelt this all up here real quick, and then I will uh, actually get a furnace here. Alright, I will get this all uh, smelted up, get it made into stone bricks, and we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I ended up just doing a basic template, as you can see. Uh, I kept with the oak, but I went with the stone bricks and the smooth stone. So, yeah, I also built that little bridgey, just to go over there. And also, um, since the ice spikes are over there, on the other side of this little mountain area, there is a ocean so what I'm going to do is we're going to build a pathway down and then put a little dock right there so we will get started on that momentarily <laughs> 